Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general weekly reading. This is the 13th to 19th of March. Just going to get straight into the read, no messing. Um, we start off with energy across the bottom, which is the Five of Wands. This is a card of, of kind of conflict and niggles. It's normally five young men sort of fighting against each other. And they're doing it as a training exercise, but it's beginning to get a little bit out of hand. So... Just be aware of that. It feels like just a little niggle this week. Some people are going to irritate you more than you normally would. Or, you know, you walk in the kitchen and go, oh, not this mess again. And other days you would have just gone, oh, well, I'll just tidy up. But sometimes it does feel a bit, oh, not this again. So in your present position, sorry, I'm just shuffling off screen the uh, cards for the um, clarification. You've got the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is momentum and, and impetus and wanting to get it done. It's a card of, come on, let's go. Let's go skiing. Let's go this weekend. Let's go, go, go. And everyone else is like, just slow down a bit. Can you just take it easy? Let's let's get some time off work first. Let's see if we've got the money. Let's do it around payday. You know, you're all, come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. It's a great card. It's lovely energy. Just be careful you don't, you don't let that momentum carry you into kind of, overexposing yourself and ending up with, in a situation where no one's followed you. It's almost like, come on, let's all run naked into the ocean. And you, you're the, when you get in the ocean, you turn around and your mates have all stopped at the side going, ah, oh, it's too cold for us. Now you just look foolish. Yeah, It started off as a great idea, then very quickly became very foolish. And now there's a crowd and you've got to come out and the water's cold. So fortunately, you're well end out. So it's not shrunk so much, blah, blah. You know, And there's all that kind of, oh, I wish I hadn't kind of gone in so bullet a china shop kind of intent you know just slow it down a little bit and that's your expectation as well i think your expectation is this is the queen of pentacles all, all the queens are, are mature feminine energy so it's it's caring nurturing it's thinking about others one thing this card talks about is providing a safe space the universe says okay you've got some great ideas and you're worried about those ideas and if they're going to be received well or not you know this enthusiasm she's going i've got your back you know i've got your back you go and try it and see where you get to in the unexpected position you've got the empress this is a wonderfully kind of sensual nurturing caring cyclical card it is a card of the cycles of nature you know you plant the seed the seed grows to wheat you and turn it into bread and back around it goes you know is that whole kind of the cycle of life it is a card of, of pregnancy and motherhood and it's in the unexpected position so be really careful there if you're not planning children in the background of this we've also got a spot varnish of oxycodone the love hormone so it is a it's a lovely sensual kind of giving caring energy very very feminine energy coming out here now um energy in tarot is masculine or feminine masculine energy is is about the self and about protection and about how can i keep my family safe how can i provide for these people here whereas female uh, feminine energy is um caring for others and looking outside so that would be someone who goes i could see the neighbors got some milk left on the doorstep i'm just going to knock on see if they're okay you know it's it's a helpful caring it's it's a, a looking out energy whereas masculine energy tends to look in you need both, by the way. Masculine energy on its own just leads for a very lonely life. And feminine energy on its own can, can leave you a bit sort of exposed and taken for granted. You know, you want that lovely balance between I'm going to protect what's mine and also I want to make sure that, you know, the world is a better place because I'm in it. Short term future. I've had this in the same place for another reading this morning as well. So this is flexibility. It's staying flexible. And, and you've been asked, you know, can you continue to do this? Because that balancing act looks really, really weird. And Mr. Ferret here is going, I can do this all day, every day. You know, I can multitask like nobody's business. You know, throw another coin on there. Try and tip me off if you dare, you know. So it's doing a good job. The one thing this card warns about is while you're doing a fantastic job at the moment, you can't stay like that forever. You know, so next week, fine, you need to balance, you know, work and home life or the, the time you're spending with your kids and your partner, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, balancing off money against, you know, the fact we need to buy some food. Um, so you can do all that and you do it well, but, you know, it's not a long term strategy. And then the next one, two, three weeks, this is it's pretty good. It looks like your finances are all in place as well. This is a card of balance. This is the seven of pentacles. What we've got here is there's a list that added up to six and you've got six so you go someone's gone you need to pay us you owe us six and you go here's six and i've got more left and i'm growing more you know it's a, a card of kind of 
haven't you done well? You know, I've done well, I continue to do well, I will continue to do well. So there's just this little niggle underneath this, the rest of it looks like an absolutely fine wheat Capricorn. No, no, you know, sort of big deals or anything coming out there. Page of Pentacles, focus, intent, decide what it is that you want. You know, with this um, Knight of Sword cards, the Page of Pentacles is, this is what she really wanted, yeah? This pentacle here, this thing, doesn't have to be money, but it's this thing that she wanted. So she went out and got it, and she got it. Yeah, simple as, that's all it needs to do. Ah, the woods, this is a card of, on top of the safe space, it's kind of doubling down on this. This is a, a unique card to this deck, uh, the uh, Black Violet Tarot. It is a card of um, uh, care and comfort and, and stability. The author, Heidi, lived in the city, so going to a cabin in the woods was an escape for her, and it felt, you know, getting back to nature, feeling the, the soil under your toes and going into the river or going into the lake, you know, all that getting back to nature is, is really kind of life-affirming and, and feels very right. You've also got the owl at the top there about wisdom, you know, um, you've got the deer for gentleness, you've got the mirroring aspect going on here, you've got the stability of the two trees. It's just a card that kind of, it almost, it just whispers in your ear and go, you've got this. You know, if you went, oh, am I doing the right thing or not? And the woods cards comes up and goes, yeah, you are. It's as simple as that. Yes, you are. Um, on top of the Empress, you've got the Ten of Wands. Some days feel like a burden. Um, it's not that big a burden. Not my favourite card in the deck, Heidi, you know this. I think the burden card should be, the, the burdens themselves should be bigger and harder to kind of carry. This is, after all, the burden card. It is a card of, you know, oh, woe is me. And usually on the Rider Waite deck, the, the destination is just on the horizon here. So you're almost home. So again, as a 10, it's the completion of something. So, you know, some weeks are going to feel like a drag. But before you know it, it's, it's you know, Friday night and you've knocked off work again. Knight of Wands. Um, let's see what Heidi says about the Knight of Wands, shall we? So let's have a look. What I've decided to do is rather than just pull out the um, Rider Weight reading, is I go to the actual author's book and try that. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll kind of nod my head and agree, and other times I'm like, oh no, I don't agree with that at all. But I do think you should actually have a look. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Bravery, adventure, courage. The Knight of Wands is bold, brave and adventurous. She confidently charges forward in pursuit of her dreams and goals with the one suit representing fire. She is a fiery personality who confronts challenges head on. Nothing will stand in her way. What I don't like about that card then is if she's charging forward, why is she pointing the wrong way? Well, that's just a bugbear of mine. Um, maybe she's charging into this burden thing and going, yeah, shut up, you've got this. Regardless, regardless, I've just pulled the last card. We've got the chariot. Chariot is all about victory. Fantastic. You have the victory that, you know, the, there's a, a discussion with this card. Is it coming away from the victory? So it's like, well done you, and the next one, two, three, you get one, or are you riding towards victory? And it's not quite so clear in this either, but normally um, the the two, the sphinxes, there's two sphinxes on and the chariot, and the idea is they're polar opposites. They're trying to go in different ways. So you're having to kind of guide the, the horses. There's no reins on this. Normally you would be guiding those animals that want to go in two completely different directions. So you're in for a fantastic week. I like the fact you pulled up the woods. The woods card is a is a card of kind of reassurance. It's almost like someone giving you a virtual hug and going, yeah, you've got this. And that's on top of the card that says safe space. So whatever you're planning next week that you might think is, oh, it's a big idea this, you know, it's what you really want to do. Yeah, you really want to do it and you're going to do it with passion and enthusiasm. Yes, there'll be some irritant, someone will niggle you a little bit, but regardless, you are going to find yourself in. Um, the checks and balances are all going to come out good. You know, are you doing a good job at work? Are you in a good relationship? It's all going to be yes, yes, yes. More than enough. Take a little breather. You know, you've worked hard. You deserve this. You're where you should be. And then, yeah, head on off to the next victory. Good luck with that. And I will see you next week, Capricorn, for more of the same. Take care.